I got the new Minis Forum Drip, their new U850 mini computer, so let's check it out. This is the box, Minis Forum, Desk Mini, right here, a Minis Forum bracket, the actual computer, cables, charger. And the back side right here, Desk Mini Series, and the website and their support. And here we go. Here we have already the first divider, piece of foam. And the first thing is the manual. So let's take a look at that right now. Back side right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pages could be wrong, obviously. There are no pages. But let's continue. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And the last one right here. Very well. Here it is. This is way tinier than expected. And also fairly light. I'm impressed. Okay, this will come out as well. And right here we have all the accessories. Okay, first of all, a little HDMI cable. Secondly, is this a display port? I think so. Oh yeah, it is. Third cable has a plug for the power brick. And the power brick itself is right here. Data right here. And the power brick delivers over USB-C. And lastly, the bracket for mounting it on a monitor or TV and a few screws. HDMI and DisplayPort, they are around 60 centimeters long. The cable for the power brick is around one meter long and the cable, the USB-C cable from the power brick is around one meter and 20 centimeters long. Other than that, as you can see, I already unboxed, well, I unwrapped the PC itself. So the front side features a microphone, a USB-C, two USB-A ports, headphone jack and the power button right here and a reset button hidden inside this hole right here. Backside features two USB-A ports as well, display port, HDMI, two Ethernet ports and the USB-C for powering it. Through here, you can secure it somewhere. This is the bottom right here. Input DC 19 volts. The model is U850 and the two sides, one and the other side right here. And this is the top right here. As you can see, there is a little sticker and it says open the top cover by pressing it with your hands. Just like that, it will pop open. Then you can remove this lid. And inside here is a little disc tray. I already unwrapped those two ports for two discs. This will come out like this and this is what the inside looks like. So the tray will slide in and then you can put it down. And that's it so far with the unboxing. To recap, HDMI cable, display port, power brick with power cable, manual, computer itself and a bracket, a mounting bracket. So done with the unboxing and let's get to my first impressions. So my first impressions, it's tinier than expected, it's lighter than expected, it's more powerful than expected and all in all it's surprisingly awesome. You can take this little thing everywhere, the only thing that you will need is some sort of a display and accessories like a keyboard and a mouse, but other than that this is the complete package. It can handle 4K YouTube videos, full screen of course, without any issues, it has a huge amount of RAM and the build quality is amazing. This Logitech MX Keys keyboard fits perfectly to this design, it's this gunmetal grey, I love the design, as I said it is surprisingly awesome. I didn't expect such a well-built and well-thought-through device. Can't complain whatsoever. This thing is amazing. So, good stuff. Now, let me tell you all about the specs and the features. Let's get into the specs. You can find all the pictures on their website. I will listen link all of that below if you want to take a look at that for yourself. But this is basically everything that you will find on their website anyways. Also, I will go through it fairly quickly, so if you want to read up, just pause the video and do it. So let's go. Here is a specs overview, Windows 10 is included and as you can see, this is such a tiny device, a desktop PC is 30 times bigger. Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.1 and you get 4K triple display output. Here is another specs overview, look at this tiny thing. Here is a benchmark, it's a Geekbench 5 score and the goal of this device is to be ultra thin and practical. In this case I think it's mounted behind the monitor so it's tiny you won't even notice it you can mount it everywhere and also it is super upgrade friendly you can exchange the discs you can exchange the M.2 SSD and the RAM super easily here is an explosion picture of this mini computer here you can see the M.2 SSD in this case two other HDDs and the RAM as I said you can hook up 
up to three displays, but notice the frame rates over HDMI, you will only get 30 Hertz. Again, this also has really fast dual band Wi-Fi, and you will get the VESA bracket. You can mount this thing wherever you want, or you can just throw it in your backpack, take it everywhere you go. Here are a few product pictures, how it will look in your hand, then the device disassembled and the contents of the package, basically. Let's get to the features. As you can see, we have HD graphics and up to three displays, but there is no dedicated graphics card. The graphics compartment is powered by the CPU, but it can get the job done easily. Don't worry about it. This is also DIY oriented and it's super upgrade friendly. As I said, you can exchange basically all the parts really easily. And this really is a super versatile device. You can use it for tons of tasks. You can use this as a media computer. You can use this as a printer server. You can mount this on a projector or on a screen or TV, or you can use it as a surveillance server. Tons and tons of possibilities. Also, it has tons and tons of expansion slots. It is super mini and wisdom. Um, it is, it is. <laughs> definitely and as i said it will come with a wall mount support here are all the specs in detail and if you're wondering on their website you can choose different options for the u820 or u850 and here is the rest of the specs even including the launch date and the contents of the package and lastly they also have a short q a section on their website how long will the shipping take where is it shipped from yeah it's china of course and it usually it takes a few weeks at least you also need to think about shipping fees or import taxes usually that's a thing but for the build quality and what it can do the pricing is amazing as always straight from china is usually a great deal and again triple monitor setup is possible it will come with the wall mount and ram speeds and sizes basically that's it back to you chris so not bad right next up is performance and usability and right after that a good old demo back to back so let's go for the first test, I have it hooked up over HDMI to this monitor, USB-C from the brick powering this device. By the way, this is what the power brick looks like. Green light right here. Now let's see. Blue light. Let's turn on this monitor as well. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah, as we can see, it looks like Windows is configuring itself. And I will use my old mouse. There we go. And it's working. Okay, let's take English. My region would be Austria though. Boom. There we go. My keyboard, I need it to be German, please. German. There we go. Second layout, don't need that. Wi-Fi, let's go. I don't have a keyboard though. I will need the on-screen. Oh, the on-screen keyboard right here. Wait, what? Okay, so I cannot get this to work. Okay. Ah, where is the on-screen keyboard? Come on. Narrator, magnifier, on-screen keyboard, there we go. Nice. Okay, let's go back one step. Now I can connect to my Wi-Fi. Hmm, okay. Windows 10 license agreement. Accept this, of course. Set this up for personal use. Let's go. Okay, I, I did it. <laughs> I logged in. Okay, pin created. Skip that as well. Let's skip that as well. No cloud and no office. 365. There we go. I can't skip this. Okay, okay, wow. Oh my goodness, easy as that. Well, that was, yeah, simple. Let's check the programs. Yeah, nothing unusual, looking good to me. All right, very well. And this concludes the setup. Let's check out the hardware. Bestar Tech Limited as a manufacturer, model U850, that's right. Intel Core i5, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and it's Windows 10 Pro. Device Manager, let's take a look at that as well. Bluetooth. 4 cores and 8 threads. But there is no graphics card, right? I don't think so. All right, this concludes the setup and a brief look into the installed hardware. This is what the thing sounds like, by the way. That is not bad at all. So let's get to a performance test on my 4K TV. Let's open up Chrome. Well, nope, that's Firefox, my bad. So YouTube full screen. All right, this is 1080p full screen, so no problem whatsoever. Let's ramp it up to 4K. And this is 4K at 60 frames per second. Let's see, mm, looking good. So 4K videos on YouTube, not a problem. That's looking good to me.
4K and full screen, let's go. Look at that. Perfect. YouTube at 4K is not a problem whatsoever. This is for sure a perfect media PC. So for this completely mobile test, I have it hooked up to my DIY giant power pack. Check out this vlog if you want to know more. That's how it's powered. Also, it's connected to this monitor over HDMI. I'm using my old mouse again and now let's just turn it on and let's see what will happen. Completely mobile. Then you will only need Wi-Fi. There we go. Oh wow, look at that. Okay, so my polarizer is causing issues. I yeah, that's better, that's better. That is amazing, completely mobile, 100% mobile. Let's turn on the keyboard. That is actually crazy. This thing is so small, wait a second. Display settings, yeah, 1080p, that's correct. Oh my goodness, it's so small. There we go, we're back on YouTube. Obviously there is no sound output now, but damn, this is working without any issues. Yo, let's go. So whatever it is that you want to do, you can do it fully mobile with this device. That is awesome. All right, let's shut it down. So here we go. And by now I am already using this device for a good two or three weeks. And the idea is amazing. I love the idea. First of all, this is ultra portable. You can bring this everywhere you go, thanks to the form factor, of course. And this also allows it to mount it basically everywhere. You can mount it on the backside of even a small monitor. It's amazing. But this is more like a server, always on PC. So the computing power, especially the graphics, are not that powerful. I would love to be able to hook up an external graphics card to this and use it not with a monitor, but with a VR headset. This would be amazing. Well, this one does not have a Thunderbolt input, but Minis Forum also has a model with a Thunderbolt port. So I would love to have a portable VR computer. <laughs> Still to this day, this would be my dream setup, but this already comes very close. This is more a device for work and for office tasks, but also watching videos, it's, it's no problem. So it's not powerful enough for VR, obviously, but for everything else, this thing is amazing. Totally drippy, totally. <laughs> Check out the product links in the description if you're interested and before you go smash a dead like button, then subscribe, ring the bell and press all to never miss amazing tech magnet videos. That's it for this one. Enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you soon.